I had a lot of fun with it when I was a teenager. But uh, of course then it was at my parents' expense. Mm -hmm. Did you have a... Did you have a... Yes. A, a what? I even paint, uh, an, an army of little <laughs> figures, yes. <laughs> I even painted them poorly. Really? Did you... Oh, well, you say poorly. Let's make sure the orcs were green. To, uh, to find your... Have... your... I didn't have green. orcs, I had space marines. Oh, wait, they're blue, are they? I think they're, they're blue, almost yeah. blue. Yeah. The skin's Isn't white. Isn't that but... maybe subjective if something is poorly or not? What? I mean, yeah, what? It's, it's pretty subjective, yeah. But. But. Well, I, no, I, it's... I, I the, think... the, this was I'm... still at the level where it's pretty objectively poor. I mean, I mean, by the oh. definition of, uh, I mean, what they call art today is very different from what they called art like uh, 50 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Everything's art. They're, they're, they're... <laughs> you are art, Visor. You, to me, are art. I mean, you no. always make me question a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, you are art. You raise a lot of questions. <laughs> Fundamentally, I mean, it's like this. There's a point where you can question the relativity in art, and then yeah. there's the point where, like, someone forgot to add half the colors, and you spray I mean, the color with another color. <laughs> there, there, was, there was a dude who, uh, who <laughs> urinated on a wall uh, 10 years ago, and he called that art. And then there was another dude, like, in the 90s, who, uh, who butchered a, a living horse on a, on a field, and that was also art. I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, I, I, I wow. can't claim I've ever understood the modern art, no. We, we went to the Museum of Modern Art, and uh, I, I wasn't impressed. I was not impressed, because it was all towers of CDs and, like, abstractions that didn't make any sense. <laughs> I, rubbish, basically. What? It was rubbish. It, it, it was. Yeah. It was really poor, and... Um, I've been campaigning against modern art ever since. Uh, but the thing is, you like you can't make classic art. It has to be like all art by definition that you make now is modern art. So yeah, but, but there, there's art that is modern, and then there's modern art. There's postmodern okay. art and uh, neo classic uh, modern, art, yeah. and I don't know. What's neo? What what is neo classic? What neo is is new? Is it or yeah. new classic? So what uh, what's uh, new classic? Neo it's a reinterpretation or something. I think maybe it wasn't neo classical art. A reinterpretation of old, you know, Greek neo classicism in 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 like a couple hundred years ago. Yeah, it was neo classicism. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Anyway, all, all I'm saying is that I, I like a new, nice painting or statue, fine. But yeah. The, the abstract stuff, no. Yeah, no. yeah, me, me too. If if I can Great. understand what it's depicting and it looks like it's had effort done and it looks yeah. impressive enough, that I guess yeah. to me that's proper art and the rest of it is art that's tat. Yes. I think. Okay. Wow, we just defined the different... Hey there! <laughs> Uh, gradations between art and crap art <laughs> quite well there. I'm well gonna, done. I'm gonna uh, reboot my. Group. People have debated that for like centuries. And we just like one Borderland three idle conversation. Okay, they they never asked a bunch of gamers. <laughs> I went to the Louvre once. No, oh. really nice, really nice, neat. Well, I mean, I like Great Orc, sure. Uh, okay, um. I went outside the Louvre once. Uh -huh. I, I was very, um, like when I graduated, I was very uh, like, okay, I'm gonna go for an alternative holiday. I'm gonna go to Paris, but see how alternative things can get. <laughs> so instead of going to the Louvre, I enjoyed people outside the Louvre performing. And also mm -hmm. it was quite expensive to go in the Louvre for me at that point. So I didn't go in, but I, I, I said, okay, I enjoyed the art of the Louvre because I watched people rollerblading outside it. So, <laughs> <laughs> they were really good though, they were good. Um, and, well, I'll tell you some other stories about Paris in a second, but what, what's your favorite piece of art then, if, if you had one, you guys? I can't say I ever remembered keep put them in memory. Much less what they're named or something. No. I can I can remember one, from, I don't know which gallery it was, it was somewhere in England, and 
it was called Brown Eyes, and it was a classical picture, and it was this it was this girl with brown eyes. And like you, you know how people usually say green eyes or blue eyes are the most striking kind of eyes. Um, there was there was something about this picture called brown eyes that was like the the eyes just the, the eyes were so vivid and they they followed you like wherever you went. I, I think it might have been one of those comedy creepy paintings where there was a guy behind this little girl <laughs> painting like just looking at me. <laughs> uh, that that was really good. How about you, Mrs. Am? Then if if Graver's coming up blank. Four. Oh my god. Conversation no, topic. For the, for the Louvre. No, I... not the Louvre, just, just a, any any piece of art. Ah, uh, uh, oh, the frustrations of a conversation with you, Aeon. <laughs> I see them. I talk to you all the time. I know, I know. No, I, I am not a fan. Uh, so I hate modern art oh and god. poetry. I'm not a great fan <laughs> of most other types of art either. Um, I did go to the Louvre, but I didn't go inside the Louvre because nobody in my family wanted to go with me. Wow. So, yeah, when we were in Paris, we went to Paris like three or four times, but the last time we went is when my brother was about hey, hey. like 11 or something or 12 or something like that. And then he... So he was old enough to go and do like the touristy things, but my parents don't do galleries or museums at all. So I ended up not going to the Louvre, but in terms of art, it might actually be stuff that I've seen in museums rather than in galleries. <laughs> so I remember in uh, Toronto, in the Museum of I think it was a Museum of Natural History in Toronto. They have a really nice exhibit at the time. So I went through all of the exhibits. They fell asleep on couches, but I went through everywhere. And then I ended up, they had a special exhibit, which was Middle Eastern art. So, you know, all those like geometric patterns. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. And tiles and mosaics. Te and that sort of thing. So that was really nice. Tessellation? Tessellation. Kind of, is it? I don't, well, I don't know, but I know like they just call it geometric. So that was really nice, and then I remember in the Vatican Museum, I remember there was, um, there was, I don't know which Pope it was, but they had his robes there, so it was the, kind of the embroidery on the robe that was lovely, Ooh. Um, that I really liked, but it was huge, like, it was like a gigantic thing, um, and then I remember in the Top Carpi Museum, there were really nice things there it's but in, Turkey, in terms right? of like if i had to pick an art work or a thing i don't think i could <laughs> wow that you was a whole me. big build up towards uh, well you know i can't answer your question but no, that was good good build up i i can pick specific things or items like historical artifacts that i think are amazing but if you were to tell me like pick a, a painting or something or a sculpture I couldn't. I did, there is one one thing of modern art that I appreciated mm -hmm. slash liked, and we were in was it Doha, babe? I uh, think we were in, in Doha in Qatar, oh, right. and there's this um, you know that crazy guy Damien Hurst, the oh. modern art guy, the shark in the tank guy. He had done an exhibit outside like one of their hospitals it's like their biggest hospital in doha and it was basically like like it was a tribute to embryology so it starts off with these huge like 30 foot high bronze sculptures of like the the journey made until a baby's born so that was interesting that was amazing actually <laughs> especially the the giant baby at the end like yeah. the, the ninth sculpture is this giant baby that just looks like it's gonna, you know, left hook King Kong. It's <laughs> massive, massive, so, massive. Have you seen Vice's one? Oh, Vice's. He just yeah, put it probably. in Discord. Let's have a look. That is not bad, actually. Quite, um, quite the gentleman's view. Oh wow! Wanderer above the sea of fog. Although, I would. 
considered a masterpiece in the romanticism. Ro 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 Romanticism. Ro yeah, whatever. I can't. I can't say it. <laughs> Romanticism. Yeah. Wait, is he above the clouds or above the waves? No, he's that above the sure. waves. Well, no, those is are it? waves. It's supposed oh. to be ambiguous, isn't it? But it looks it's, like uh, waves. It's, it's not waves. It's the, the mountains looking down on the fog. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. And a misty uh, landscape. I like his sword. It's very rakish. That's really nice. I like that. The sword and the jacket. I like it. I actually think it's a walking stick. Oh. Yes, yeah, sorry. Just too much medieval, like, D Dungeons and Dragons art. It's from the um, 1818. Oh, really? That long ago? Okay. That's really nice. Yeah, that's a walking stick. Did you zoom in? Yeah. And those are absolutely clouds. It might be a walking stick with a blade, though. I might, I might be close. Yeah. You know, one of those ones with a flicker. <laughs> One of those sword canes. Yeah. Sword, <laughs> sword cane, that's it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my favourite art now. I can't even answer my own question. Well, you put brown eyes in there. Yeah, but now looking upon it, it, it wasn't actually that good. <laughs> or mm, maybe a, J a JPEG can't convey what real life can. See, I, I would argue that the insignificance of the individual within the landscape is not is not one of the focuses of the painting. I don't think it's supposed to make the guy look like insignificant compared to an amazing vista. <laughs> I, I, th I, I think it's that, you know, that man can get there and appreciate it. And and appreciate the view? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. Just stop for a second and appreciate the view. That's it. That's what we do in Borderlands sometimes too, right? We just stop and we're like, wait a second, look over this cliff. But don't get too close to the edge, Mrs. A.M. We do that. Often, often. Why, oh, because I'm going to fall off? Yeah, if you want to, you know, spell it out, yeah. Wait, why would I fall off? Well, I remember the first time you took strafing seriously. What happened? You fell off a cliff, yeah. didn't you? To, to my... To my recollection, I think three of us fell off that same cliff. In that same session. See, I, I feel like I'm part horse, part, part mountain goat, because I was the one who never hey, fell. Well, I'm pretty good on. But you're horses. allergic to goats, so. I'm allergic How to myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm allergic to goats. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm allergic to a few things. I'm allergic to argon. I'm allergic to goats. To argon. Like argon oil from Morocco? Oil. Uh -huh, no, it's really good for your skin, but um, uh, not good for mine. Does argon oil have anything to do with actual argon? Is my question. What is argon? Oh, the you mean the gas? Oh, argon, no. argon is one of the base elements. No, no, no. And I was wondering, how the hell are you <laughs> allergic to it? <laughs> base <laughs> element. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Nice. Like, how do you even exist, AM? How are you not dead? 